When I was a kid, before we went to bed, my parents read us kids' books. My favorite story was like, you know, weird stories. Weird story or like a big monster comes. So my parents always tell me when I don't want to sleep, the big tanuki is coming to eat you. When you arrive into the Shigaraki, maybe you will see like millions of tanukis. They have so many good rock meanings in one statue. Like a tanuki has a big belly, which means that you can eat well, and a tanuki has a big eyes, you can see forever, and tanuki has a hat. The hat can protect you from the disaster or something. And Tanuki has a big balls. So which means you can have more kids. I came to the Shigaraki in like 2018. When I came back from the US to Japan, I decided to work at the residency in Shigaraki, which is called like a Shigaraki Ceramic Cultural Park. Shigaraki is known as a one of the six ancient kiln sites, so very important for the Japanese cultural history. But nowadays, like uh, many of the businesses closed because of the population and the generations. So younger generation people went to the outside, but like older generation people want to keep maintain their factory. Like uh, they are getting older. My name is En Iwamura. I am the artist, and we are the Shigaraki right now. What I love about ceramics is the process of the making, because it's like a physical activity, right? Just like a wedging the clay, or like rolling the coil and piling the clay to make the shape. Before I start making art, I don't do any sketches. I just jump into the clay because clay is my, you know, like pencil and the paper. Every layer when I pile the clay, I feel like I'm very satisfied because like uh, the form I haven't expected can appear layer by layer. So I like the process and just feels like uh, my working process is like three-dimensional doodlings. The opening the kiln as a ceramic artist is always like opening the like a birthday box or like Christmas present. But at the same time, it can disappoint me a lot. Maybe it sounds weird, but like uh, if when I open the kiln and it looks perfect, that is also boring for me. Of course, I expected to have this finish, but at the same time, I wanted to see something beyond my expectation. When I completed my work, I feel like, oh, Hey, nice to meet you first time. So that's why like every time I meet a new person, feels like uh, everybody has a different personality. I had many different influences into my work, using some like reference from the Japanese ancient like artifact called Haniwa. Contrast with the popular culture influences like manga or a cartoon or like graffiti.
Ceramic is a one of the very important information technologies nowadays, right? If we go to the museum, we can see the like uh, old like uh, German parts or something. We can imagine what kind of culture behind it, what kind of people made these kind of uh, decorations. Million years later, people can see my work as a real artifact. Then they can imagine what kind of uh, culture or like people behind this piece. I want to kind of play with those kind of like, idea of the like time and the, like communication and the culture with my work. I said. I said, okay. Why I decided to stay in Shigaraki was I realized that if I can stay in this area, I can share my story with those younger generation people. And just I wanted to show them the possibility of this place. Before I came to Shigaraki, I had no idea about this area. But like after I came here, I found so many interesting characters, and now I feel like this place is special. Because there are so many like individual like ceramic artists living in this area, and they are existing together. Nota shop is run by Shunsuke Kato. First time I visited his place, I realized oh, here in Shigaraki has so much like a potential.私の名前は加藤俊介です。ここと石垣でノタアンドデザインっていうデザイン事務所とセラミックスタジオと内装設計、まあ各種デザインとギャラリーショップのオーナーでもあります。町は取れたバランスで、自分たちのものも作るし、
出て仕事をするような人が圧倒的に増えたわけです。僕の同級生で陶芸関係の家っていうのがだいたい十人ぐらいはいました。でもその家を継いでるのは今僕一人です。僕の名前は神崎周作です。職業は陶芸家しています。で日本で考えるとやっぱり伝統工芸ってすごいどんどんなくなっていってると思うんですね。全部儲からないからでやめてしまうとそこでずっと培ってきた技術とかは途絶えてしまうので、まあ、誰かが。残していかないとダメかと思いますで私はその焼き物とかのクラフトとアートの間の橋渡しができるような作品作りを目指しています、えー、私の名前は増本恵子ですセラミックアーティストをやってます三春釜は私が嫁いできたところです。私が陶芸の森に行ってた時にラジオアーティストとして1年ほど滞在したんですけどその時に彼がスタッフとしてそこで働いていて陶芸の森があることで世界中からいろんなアーティストが集まってくるっていうのはすごい変えがたい経験ができるそれを目指してくる人はやっぱり多いと思います。I think the Shigaraki Ceramic Cultural Park has a very important role in this area. One of the r e p u t a t i o n they have is they have a, like, a, one of the best f a c i l i t i e s of the ceramic art residency in Japan. It's nice to have a, like, a similar generation a r t i s t in the community. Oh, the Tomonari Hashimoto is、uh, one of the, my friends. His personality is very steady. He's very calm and just、uh, quiet. But like, I can see his personality to his work. Hashimoto Tomonari is a very good one. まあ、僕にとって、まあ、陶芸の森っていうのは、まあ、最初その大学生の頃に一番最初のレジデンシーできたんですけどその、まあ、きっかけとしては大学の施設でできる限界っていうのが見えてしまってでここの施設は特にその大きな釜があるので大きなサイズの作品を作れるっていうそのことで最初きっかけとしてはそれで来たんですけど。その伝統を守るって多分すごい僕は大事なことだと思うんですけどその守るっていうのは単純にその歴史古くかあったものをなんか引き継いでいくっていうのも一つなんだと思うんですけど時代が求めてるものに応える必要はないと思うんですけどその時代に生きてる人たちが感覚も常にアップデートしていかないといけないし。まあ、ここに住んで焼き物をするってことで足柄木の名前が外にいる人たちに何か興味を持ってもらえるきっかけになってたらいいなっていうふうには思ってます。At the end of the day, I feel like, oh, maybe I like my life. I'm interested in seeing some like newer creators community happening in this area.
so hopefully like uh, I can show my studio space for the younger generation people and just can influence them. Oh, and could do this. Maybe I can do better. <laughs>